In this episode of DIY Man, I'm going to show you how to make this super simple rustic barn door. The first step in building a door like this is to take a quick measurement of where we're going to put it. For this particular door, I'll make it one inch shorter and a half inch narrower than the opening. Now if you're wanting to know what I did to make these door jams, all I did was cut a 1 by 10 directly in half. These work perfectly on standard walls with half inch sheetrock. Then to trim it out, I just used 1 by 4s. With this lumber crisis going on, I've been on the hunt for somewhere to buy lumber where I'm not going to get ripped off. These rough cut 1 by 12s and 1 by 8s are about a quarter of the price as you would get at Home Depot or Lowe's. This was from a local lumber store that buys directly from the sawmill. As you can see, these boards are a little bit rough, but they're going to make good barnwood style doors. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking one of these 1x8s and I'm ripping a few pieces down to 2.5 inches wide. These are going to make up the outside frame of the door. My door is only about 34 inches wide, so I only need three of these pieces. If your door is much wider than that, you might find that you need four of these. Alright, so first let's cut two of these to the height of our opening minus one inch. To get our width, let's take the width of our opening, subtract the width of two of these boards, and a half an inch. We're going to be cutting out three of these pieces. Here's a quick look at all those pieces we just cut out. Now let's take these three shorter boards and we'll put two pocket holes on each side of all three of those. To do this, I'm going to use the Craig R3 jig. If you don't have one of these, I'll put a link down in the description if you want to pick up one from Amazon. We're going to be using one and a quarter inch pocket screws in these holes here in just a minute. Alright, let me slide this miter saw out of the way to put this door together. If you like the way this workbench operates, be sure to check out the video on how I built it. Let's start putting this door together. First, I'll make a mark right in the center of these two long boards. Then I'll make a mark in the center of these edges on one of these short ones. Let's start with the top of this door. I'm going to use wood glue and pocket screws to attach one of these smaller boards flush with the left and right sides of those longer pieces. Now I'll install that middle board right on those marks we made earlier. As you probably guessed, the bottom goes together the same way as the top. Now for the next part, I'm going to rip some 1x12s directly in half. You don't have to rip these if you don't want to, I just wanted my door to look like it had slats. To me, it looks more like a barn door when you do that. Now that I've ripped all these boards in half, I'm going to cut all these to the length of my door. Now that I've cut all these pieces to length, I'll lay down my door frame, then nail these pieces to the back. I like to use as much wood glue as I can on a door like this. I want it to be as strong as possible. Also, I recommend taking your time and making this first piece as straight as you can get it. How funny would that have been if I would have accidentally used 2 inch nails here? Okay, let's go ahead and attach the rest of these boards. I am putting a layer of wood glue in between these. Also, if you find that your boards aren't perfectly straight, that's okay. I use clamps to close the gaps before I nail these to the frame. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time and get rid of all the gaps. I want this door to be a little bit rustic. I probably wouldn't have split these boards in half if I was concerned about that. Mm -hmm. 
Looks like I need to cut out a little bit of narrow strip for that last piece. Okay, let's cut out a couple of these two and a half inch pieces to go in between the top and bottom frame. I'll just use wood glue and nail these into place. I don't want to sand this too much. I don't want to get rid of the barn wood look. I'll just use a hand planer on the back side of this door. You know, you don't have to have one of these, but it saves a lot of time. Our door is looking pretty swell. Let's put a coat of stain on this thing. I'll use special walnut from Minwax for this project. I'll hang my door using three four inch T hinges. I don't know if it needs it, but I'm using some really long screws that can go all the way into the studs. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Be careful on the length of the screws that you're using for the back of the door. You don't want those to poke through on the other side. For the final step, I'm going to rip a 2x4 into half inch strips. I'll cut these down so I have one the width of the door and two to the height of the door. Next, I'll stain these the same color as my door jam. Now, I'll attach these with my nail gun so my door only swings to the inside. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. And by the way, if you haven't already, be sure to go check out my new DIY man store. I'll put that link in the description below. I'll see you next time.